I have to share the room with a partner. I hope that partner is a British gentleman like me. Despite it is a pretty stupid expectation, if we consider the fact that the sheep outbounds from the US. A language of a man can show what kind of character he is. This superficial view would help me to understand with what partner I have to share the room. Let's see what we have here. I dislike him already. What's up, partner? My name is Max Killer. Wouldn't it be funny if I marry a woman whose name is Shaw? And her name would be Shaw Killer. In Great Britain, you should present yourself formally. This is outrageous. And then I told him that the flower arrangements at the wedding were great. I must interrupt your conversation and tell you about your mistake. The painting water lilies were painted by Claude Monet, not Edward Monet. What? We didn't talk about that. What do you want? Just say thank you that I've given you some of my knowledge. Whatever you say, Mr. Noel. That's the name of the story. Interrupting people's conversations. What a booger. Hello, my name is Mr. Ramsey. I am a very important and well-respected man, and this is my wife. I'm a pretty little thing, modest and with pleasant manners. That is your name? No, but these are characteristics that you should remember for the test. Wow, what a beautiful pearl necklace. I'm sure that these are real pearls, and it costs thousands of dollars because I am always right. Nonsense! It's fake! She has told me that she had bought it in a combo shop for like 20 bucks. I bet you a hundred bucks that these are real pearls. You carry that magnifying glass everywhere you go? I knew it! It's real! I am always right! Oh wait! Mrs. Ramsey's face looks so desperate. That must mean that the lover has bought her the necklace and she doesn't want Mr. Ramsey to know about that. I should not ruin their marriage! It's... fake. Phew! <laughs> Thanks for saving my butt! Take 100 bucks! Oh really? I was right! I thought you just had some booking. Oh, I understand what happened here. Mr. Kalada had seen that the pearls are real, but understood that they were a gift from her secret lover. He didn't want to reveal her secret, and by that he gave up his reputation. What a gentleman. Wow, what an amazing story. The pearls are a metaphor for the human beings. You never know who is real and who is fake. Mrs. Ramsey looked like a real pearl, but in the end was exposed as a traitor. Mr. Kalada seemed at first like a fake and cheap pearl, but eventually was discovered as real pearl with a gold heart. The message in the story is to not judge people by the outside. I need friends.